Hello everybody. So I went and dug out my incubator. I heard uh, that coyote got a handful of my chickens. So I said to myself, hey, let me start hatching some eggs as a replacement. I was looking around at the price of chicks and chickens these days and it just is unbelievable. But uh, years ago when we first moved out to the country, I bought an incubator when the kids were young. And we would hatch out chicks and they enjoyed doing that but as they got older ah, they had no interest and we just stopped so I put the incubator in storage so I pull it out so let's go ahead and look at it and see what we got to do so this is the incubator I have to go and recalibrate it make sure that it is still functional let's open it up this hasn't been open in years and the door is a little tight there you go so this is what it looks like on the inside it has these three trays they will rotate back and forth to give the eggs motion I had this uh, this is a thermometer I would put that in there to make sure that my temperature is staying consistent and as we can see we've had some friends in here there's some mouse nests these trays are for quail eggs and these here are for uh, I have some other trays for chicken eggs and then back there there's a tray that you'd put water in for the humidity so we will try to get this all fired up and see if we can get this working again see, right on this side is the thermostat heat operator so these are the dials and the knobs to calibrate it and so what I'll do I'll plug this bad boy in and we will get this here up and running again I'll probably run it for a few days see if I can get it stabilized and then we'll start loading it up with a few eggs see what we can make happen I've already taken out some rat's nest. There you go, all of that was in there. So I've got to clean this out a bit. These trays slide out. This here is all automated. Like I said, these just would go back and forth to give the eggs the rotation that they need. I'm just gonna pull these all out and get it good and clean up. This tray I just put water in, put in the bottom. That keeps the adjust the humidity inside this tray, inside the cage. All these trays, I'll hose them off, wash them down, and this here takes tells you the humidity and the temperature. I do not remember the humidity and the temperature that we need to hatch eggs. But I'll look it all up, I'll get all of that. So I'm gonna clean all this out and you wonder with this door being closed, how did the mice get in here? But down on the bottom there, there's an air hole that controls again the humidity, allows the humidity out of the cage. You can leave it open, it can close it up. I guess when I started, I forgot to close, I just left it open. So. The mice got in there. We've got a few mud daubers. Ah, that mud dauber nest is stuck on up there. It won't hurt anything because it's not blocking anything. But I've got to clean up all in here. 
get all this gunk out and uh, I'll have to see how much damage is done on what all needs to be what all needs to be repaired well, there's a coil here that's broken so I probably need to repair that coil I think this is the heater coil back here so I will have to get a heater coil replaced and repaired I'll string that along and then I'll come and probably need to solder the connection back on to keep the get the heat going but what I'll do I'll just plug it in and see if that fan comes on it'll probably blow some debris out but I still got to clean up all in there. But let me just see what it does really fast. Hopefully I don't blow it up. Well, at least the fan is working, so that's good. Fan is working, but I think my heater coil I need to be repaired. Whew, it sure stinks in there, so I'm gonna have to let that air out also. So right in here is the heater coil. This coil wire that coils around is loose right down in there. I'll have to get that sorted back on get that to heat up the box so that we could control the temperature but that's simple enough let me just go ahead and get this clean out get this get the scent out of this because right now with all of that mouse scent it's sort of kind of little uncomfortable working in it so I hate breathing all that in. So we get it cleaned up and then I'll see what all I need to fix. So I vacuumed it out with the sharp vac. Got the, the fan has been going, but I've got the heater coils connected and it is warming up. Also, we got the rotation of the trays. You'll see how the tray is rotated. So I'm pressing the lever. That will bring them back to level. And then once I put it on automatic, these will automatically rotate back and forth to give the eggs the turn time that it needs and simulates a mother hand turning the eggs. So what I have here, got some vinegar in a spray bottle. I'll turn this off. And I'll spray all down on the inside here with vinegar. Because again, as I said before, the mice made their home in here. There's mice poop that I've already vacuumed up, but it still smells mice poop and urine. So I'm hoping that this vinegar will kill all that scent and we'll might have to spray it down a few days. So let me turn it off and give this thing a good uh, spray down. These are the knobs to calibrate the temperature. When I started, it was at 80 degrees, and I'm gonna to try to get that right on 100 and stable on 100. So I'm just going to piddle with it a little while. This year, light comes on when the heater turns on. So that'll tell me where I'm at. And this knob here, I'll turn this to adjust the temperature. And then this here does all my fine tuning. So we'll 
get that see if we can get that to stay at 100 degrees Fahrenheit okay so I've got it calibrated it's toggling between 99 degrees Fahrenheit and 101 that is great so now I'm gonna open it up yep nice and warm in there fan is working heater coil is working thermostat is working we tested the turner the other uh, earlier put the trays back in all I need to do now is get some eggs and uh, put in these trays let her run for 21 days 20 to 21 days it takes for the chicks to hatch then this bottom tray we align this with newspaper and once the chicks hatch out of these, we'll put them in here to keep them warm, and let them dry out uh, for another two or three days before we move them out and start giving them fo uh, food and water. So, this is how we clean up, set up, calibrate the incubator. And in my next video, I will show where we load it up, monitor the eggs, and hatch into baby chicks. Thank you much. You have a wonderful day. Continue to be safe out there.